Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your Windows computer to the PCEM emulator using a uh, virtual machine like uh, MS-DOS or Windows. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a, you want to, if you already have your virtual machine made, which I do here, um, I'm just going to make a um, hard drive image. So it's not going to be my primary hard drive. This is going to be the drive where I'm going to transfer information, basically. So if you have anything in there, just eject it. So I'm just going to create a new one, press that. So this is for an old DOS machine, something like a 286, 386, or something like that, or a lower end 40s, 486. I'm going to create a fixed file, fixed size VHD, and you have to run PCM version 17. This is the only version that allows you to format a disk image to VHD and use it. We're going to call it THDD. That's what I'm going to name it for myself. I'm going to press OK. I created the partition. And there it is. So what I want to do is I want to start my virtual machine. And we can't use the hard drive until uh, we associate it with FDisk and format it into something that's readable. So the hard drive was detected. So it's booting into DOS. This virtual machine is a 386SX. Go back here. So what I have to do to use this drive, I can't use it right now. I have to use FDisk first. So I'm going to go to number five here. One is the hard drive that I booted from, that C drive. So I'm going to select two. I'm going to go to number one, create DOS partition or logical drive. Go here. I want to create a primary DOS partition. Do you wish to use the maximum available size for a primary disk partition? Yes. Now I created my disk partition. I press escape. It's going to restart the computer. Booting into DOS shell. Exit here. I'm going to type in format D drive. So not only will I be able to see the drive, I will be able to use it as well. I don't want to add a name. So now when I go to D drive, I should be able to access it. But there it is is nothing in the directory. So I'm gonna exit out of here, shut this down. And what I wanna do is I wanna go into disk management. So first we type in disk computer management, go in there, go to storage, go to disk management, just click here and then just Go to attach VHD. 
browse. This is the one that I created. So I should be able to open this. And as you can see, I opened it and um, it works. So what I want to do is I want to put some files in there. Some DOS games. Okay. Now I'm going to detach this drive. Excuse me. So I don't want to use this anymore. Go here. Detach VHD. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go to um, PCEM again. Start this up. I'm here. I'm going to exit. I'm going to go to D drive and see if those files that I transferred from my Windows 11 operating system is there. And they are there. I can access these files. Okay. That's great. Everything's there. Okay, great. So now I'm going to do it, do this for another operating system. This time I'll be doing it on a Windows 98 operating system virtual machine that I created with a Pentium 2. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the hard drive. I'm not going to set it as C because that's the hard drive that has my operating system on it. I'm going to set it as D. And I'm going to create a new partition. So new. So this doesn't have to be a large hard drive. This just has to be a hard drive where I can use to transfer data. <coughs> So I'm going to select this one, go here, I'm going to go to this directory right here, I'm going to select VHD fixed, go right here, and then I'm going to type in, um, um, for this drive will be, I'm going to call it HDD152. You could name it whatever whatever you want. So I'm going to press OK now. It created this image. And it's there. This is the image that I created. My virtual drive. So I'm going to open this up. Or run it. You don't need any complicated software to open up a, an image because the regular image, if you try to open it up, it doesn't open up. But vh.vhd seems to work. There are programs that you could get for this, but I don't like using pro other people's programs. I just like to use what exists in the operating system already. So I have three hard drives in this computer. So one is not seen. So I could, what I have to do is I have to go to start, go to run, and type in F disk, F D I S K, and then press OK. Click on OK. It's ask so I'm running F disk and I want large disk support. Yes, 
So what I want to do is go to number five. So here's the 152 right here. This is what I want to select. So that's number two. Enter. Create DOS partition or logical drive. So I'm going to press one. Enter. Create primary DOS partition number one. Enter. Do you wish to use the maximum available size for a primary DOS partition? Yes. That's it. Exit. Escape. Escape. And I have to restart Windows in order to see this drive. Because I can't see it right now. The computer has to reboot. I'm going to restart the computer. And I should be able to see that drive. And I should be able to transfer files to this virtual machine on PCM. You press the middle button to get out of it. So if you get into it, you can't get out. So you press the middle mouse button to get out. That's it. So anyways, let's go to my computer. I should be able to see three hard drives now. This is the hard drive with my operating system on it. This is the hard drive that I just partitioned out and created. And I can't access it again just like I did in DOS. What I have to do is I need to go in here and format this start okay okay that was created and i should be able to access it and i should also be able to access it in windows as well with computer management. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back to computer management, storage, disk management. Just click on anything here and just go to um, attach VHD. And this is the one that I was working with, right? Okay. I should be able to open it. And what I want to do is I just want to set a te uh, text file to test it. I'm going to go here and put it in. This is iDrive. That's the drive. Um, test. what I want to do now is I want to go into computer management and I want to detach this VHD close that and then restart and I want to see if I got that exact file on this virtual machine. <laughs> Let me know if you got this okay. Okay, I, I got it. Save that. Now I can transfer files from my Windows. I have a bridge to send the files from my modern computer to this vintage virtual computer, virtual machine. I'm going to close this, turn it off. I want to go back to computer management and see if I got that information.
storage and disk management. Attach VHD. Whoops. Select that. OK. So I sent the message for my Windows 98 virtual computer. So OK, I got it. So now you know how to transfer files from a virtual machine on PCM to uh, your computer. So if you have any questions, uh, you could leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about the PCM emulator, I have a link to it on the video cards in the top right corner. Thanks for watching.